some trash on the ground. Yeah, and I'm near a trash can. I always try and pick it up. Because I believe in leaving the world a better place than where I found it. And today, there are forces at work that are not good. And people have a philosophy of, well, somebody else will take care of that trash that's on the ground. It's called the ambulance syndrome. When somebody is in need of help and there are a lot of people around, everybody assumes somebody else will go ahead and call. And nobody ever calls. It is so important that truth be known because that is the basis of our form of government. Truth. I don't know how anyone expects to lead with trickery. That's asinine and suicide. Political suicide. Without truth, laws do not exist because it means that people can get out of liability. So laws hold no weight. If that's a future you want, then welcome to the police state. And law by force. And with R&M in place, that would be torture, both physical and psychological. That's the way law and order would be cut. Remotely and invisibly. 426 million cases of COVID that have been reported in the upper income group. Guess how many in the lower income group? Three. So by that statistic, the assumption could be made that there are many, many, many more rich people in the world than there are poor. Is that a true statement? On Halloween, I was arrested for a second time. first time I was arrested because of a lie told in a narrative of breaking a protection order. It's clearly evident on the street lamp data that I was doing nothing to create a situation. In fact, I was being harassed. And the video footage will cover that. And prove that point. That was on the 27th. Then, the same officer who didn't meet, read me my Miranda rights arrested me saying, I, I violated a protection order. And the state of Ohio comes in and requires a competency hearing. So I sit in jail. For Dr. Tilly, who's a corrupt motherfucker. And did what the state of Ohio wanted. Which ruled me incompetent. I was dismissed of the charges. I would have been able to win in court, but I was not able to stand trial. I was sent to the hospital, and when the group found out that I was going to be discharged, they filed additional charges.
This man is guilty of crime beyond all comprehension. And nobody wants to hold him accountable. 